All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. Thursday evening business on this gray and dreary day. And even if it rains, we're like the post office. We still have to deliver business. Let's get right into it. By Noah Goldberg, coming right out of the Daily News. What a great hometown newspaper. And according to them, ailing Brooklyn mobster blamed in 1980s killings wins compassionate release from prison. Ailing Brooklyn mobster Gregory Scarpa Jr. caught a break Wednesday when a judge ended his 32-year prison stretch on racketeering murder charges by ordering his compassionate release. Scarpa, 69, a former Colombo crime family boss turned prison snitch. He helped the government probes of the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing and the 1993 World Trade Center bombing is currently at Federal Bureau of Prisons halfway house in Kansas City, Kansas record show. I do not minimize the evil acts Mr. Scarpa committed over the course of his criminal career, wrote Brooklyn Federal Judge Edward Corman in ordering Scarpa's release. The reality, however, is that Mr. Scarpa is a seriously ill man who is unable to care for himself and has little prospect of recidivating. Among Scarpa's many illnesses behind bars has been a late-stage cancer for which he received radiation and chemotherapy and surgeries, including the removal of a tumor that left a hole in his throat. Doctors removed Scarpa's salivary glands during the surgeries, and now he regularly chokes on his food to the point where he has to learn to be able to do the Heimlich maneuver on himself, the judge wrote. In healthier times, Scarpa Jr., whose father was also a famous murderous Colombo family associate, was a high-ranking member of the crime family, often requesting permission from leaders to kill perceived enemies. He was convicted in 1988 of a large-scale racketeering case that the Fed say involved four murders he committed. He was already incarcerated in another case before that. In 1981, Scarpa Jr. shot Robert DiLeonardi in the head in a secluded spot on Staten Island because DiLeonardi was bragging to people about bank heists their crew had pulled off, prosecutors said. The same year, the same year Scarpa Jr. and his dad and his dad and Joseph D. Domenico murdered limousine driver Alfred Longobardi, with whom Scarpa Jr. had a feud, said the feds. Six years later, Scarpa Jr. murdered Di Domenico because he believed Di Domenico was committing lucrative crimes without sharing the proceeds with other crew members, according to federal prosecutors. In 1983, Scarpa Jr. hatched a plan to murder Sal Cadarchi, who Colombo family members believed was a rat. After members of their crew killed Cadarchi, Scarpa Jr. ordered him buried in the basement of a Bensonhurst store, according to the feds. In 1985, Scarpa Jr. was tasked with offing Anthony Frezza after Frezza murdered a member of the Gambino crime family. Scarpa Jr. shot Frezza in the head at the Scarpa home, the Fed said. Behind bars, Scarpa Jr. turned into quite a rat. He worked as an informant behind bars for the FBI to get information on an Al-Qaeda terrorist and 1993 World Trade Center bomber Razmi Youssef. While housed in 2005 at Colorado Supermax Federal Prison, Scarper learned from fellow inmate and Oklahoma City bomber Terry Nichols the location of some explosives hidden in Nichols' home. Scarper Jr. told a private investigator that the explosives were buried in the basement of Nichols' home in Kansas, and the private eye passed it on to two congressmen who alerted the FBI. The explosives were recovered. The judge in Scarpa Jr.'s case took 10 years off his sentence for the tip, but an appeals court later reversed the decision. Corman cited Scarpa Jr.'s aid in those cases as well as his model prisoner behavior in granting the compassionate release. Corman also noted that Scarpa Jr. has exhibited signs of early onset Alzheimer's or dementia. Court papers say Scarpa plans to live with his sister in Florida. All right, so first of all, salute to uh, the Daily News. Great article, Noah Goldberg. Uh, what say you guys about um, Gregory Scarpa Jr. being a rat for ratting out on these terrorists? I don't know. I don't know. First of all, let me know what you guys think. Does he get a disgrace 
Or me, or I, I don't think so. Me personally, if you're if you're stopping somebody like Terry Nichols who blew up a building with little kids inside, uh, I say you did your civic duty. Uh, Mob Story season three. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm glad they let him out. Why should he have to die in jail if he's suffering the way he's suffering? Right? What do you guys think? Do you agree? Disagree? Like? Comment? Share? Let me know what you're smoking on. I just lit up some brandy wine. Delicious indica. Coming in at 27%. We will talk soon. Salute.